Hello and welcome to the Charles County Master Gardeners Just for Kids video series. My name is Teresa Jones and I'm a Charles County Master Gardener. Have you ever wondered what are the parts of a plant? Today I'll be demonstrating how to make a 3D version of the parts of a plant. In your kit you will have paper, blue and brown, you'll have labels, a cupcake liner, seeds, green leaves, a pipe cleaner, and yarn. Shall we get started? Our first step is to make our soil. And we all know that soil is a very, very important, actually a necessary part for our plant to grow. When you are putting the glue, you want to make a nice uh, film of the glue rather than because uh, rather than just putting it on because you will have bubbles in your paper. So you can see how I have kind of spread my glue around. So I'm going to paste that to the bottom. Now I have soil. Next I will put on the stem, uh, partly because I found this was uh, the hardest part to actually get the glue to adhere to. You want to put a nice, fairly thick line of glue for this part. And place your stem. Like so. Next, I want to put my flower on. So I have our cupcake liner, which will become the petals of our flower. Let's put a nice amount of glue on the center of the back of the cupcake liner and attach that from the sun. The leaves take the energy and so that's a very necessary part for your plant. Let's put our leaves on. Yay, our plant has sprouted some leaves. And I'll do one more. Okay, so you see we have our plant is growing, it's coming along. Another important part for the plant is their roots. So next let's put in our roots. You have a piece of brown or black yarn and on the soil of course the roots will not be seen on a regular plant they will be under the soil but we are going to put just make a little squiggly line whatever you think a root system would look like and then let's place our black yarn right over our glue pattern and again press this down now we have roots Finally, once the plant has been growing, and actually after the petals have fallen off, the plant will produce seeds. So we have sunflower seeds, and let's give our flower some seeds. like so. What are we missing? We're missing our labels. Let's have a title for this. So put some glue on the parts of a plant title. And you can put this over to one side, right or left. Of course our flower. And I'm going to put a flower right beside that, but for our seed, 
I'm going to put that label right inside of the flower. Our leaf, either side, just label one of your leaves. And finally, our root. Are we missing anything? I think so. We did not label the stem. Again, that's very important for the plant because that's how it gets its nutrients. The nutrients come from the soil into the root and come up the stem. The leaves are produced. Of course, there's one other thing that is very important for plants water and sunlight in addition to the soil. Sunlight's important because that helps our plants grow and produce the green, which is uh, chlorophyll, and that gives the plant its energy. I hope you've enjoyed making this craft and learning about the parts of a plant. We hope you have enjoyed watching our video. We welcome you to share photos of your activity on the Charles County Master Gardeners, University of Maryland Extension, Facebook page. Also, please visit our website resources page at the URL shown on the screen and click on Just for Kids for more activities and information. Thank you for watching. Thank you.